The cost of selling a home in San Diego? Real estate fees. That's our topic today. We'll get started right after this. Since you're taking your time to watch this video, you must be wondering exactly how much are the cost of selling a home in San Diego. This list is strictly an estimate, and yes, it does include real estate fees. The cost of selling a home in San Diego depends on a number of factors, including the final sales price, the type of property, including location and condition, and the terms of the real estate purchase agreement. Keep in mind that depending on the market, whether a buyer's market or a seller's market, a home buyer's offer may request that the seller, the estate, pay some of the buyer's real estate fees. These real estate fees paid by the seller would go towards the buyer's closing costs, but more on that later. In San Diego, California, selling a house is not as simple as finding a buyer, receiving payment, and handling over the keys. To sell a home in San Diego in today's real estate market, you must be a real estate expert or have the help of one in both selling a home in San Diego and marketing the San Diego real estate. There are numerous real estate fees associated with getting a home sold that you should know about and naturally the cost of selling a home in San Diego will be specific to your situation and your real estate transaction. Hi, I'm Kim Ward. I have been helping to sell homes in probate or trust administration here in San Diego for two decades. My team and I are here to help clients that become responsible for a loved one's home in an estate. All the information of the cost of selling a home in San Diego real estate fees is a lot of information and this is part one of a two-part video series. Let's talk about real estate commissions. In San Diego, the commission is negotiable and will vary depending on experience, specific knowledge, and other factors. Keep in mind that the real estate fees, including marketing the estate home with professional photos, broadcasting to other agents, listing the estate property on popular sites such as Zillow and Trulia, and posting manual ads on sites like Facebook, blog sites, main websites, and more, as well as having the probate real estate knowledge and the skills to bring decades of helping executors, administrators, and trustees with their loved one's home in San Diego. My team and I know how to help our clients with some of the most stressful things, including how to address the remaining personal property once the family has removed items of importance to them. This is important. You don't ever want to choose an agent based on commission. Not all brokers are created equal and the knowledge base on how to truly help with a loved one's home is crucial. Plus our marketing plan brings more buyer interest which equate into more offers and generally means a higher selling price in less time with the least amount of stress for you and more proceeds for the San Diego estate. If the real estate fees of commission with the cost of selling a home at $750,000 was 6%, you would pay $45,000 total. In California, typically the seller pays the entire commission to both the listing broker and the buyer's broker. That's a bit about commission, but what about the rest of the real estate fees? What other real estate fees are part of the cost of selling a home? The overall real estate transaction includes the cost of selling a home with standard closing costs, as well as expenses associated with preparing the home for sale, addressing the remaining personal property, and potentially offering concessions to the buyer. Again, depending on the real estate market and the negotiation strength that the seller and their broker has. To clarify, closing costs typically include up to 6% in commissions to your agent and the buyer's agent and an additional 2 to 4% in closing costs that include property taxes and real estate fees like title insurance, HOA transfer costs of $400 plus, and escrow fees. And this doesn't include the probate attorney fees or the statutory fees that executors and administrators can claim. If you're just beginning the probate process, this list of the cost of selling a home will be helpful. So we already talked about home selling costs. You'll want to consider cost-effective repairs and preparations. 
there may be an expense of addressing the remaining personal property. Depending on the San Diego real estate market, there may be seller concessions as part of the cost of selling a home, such as buyer's closing costs or funds credited to the buyer's closing costs in lieu of repairs. Part of the real estate fees include closing costs paid by the estate, and finally, real estate fees that include the mortgage loan payoff, any unpaid taxes, and any penalties from not paying the mortgage in a timely manner, and possibly any unpaid debts in the decedent's name. Included in the cost of selling a home could be cleaning, including window and screen cleaning, staging, landscaping, and cost-effective home improvements that will increase the interest and value of the home. Let's talk about cleaning. Before the first showing, it's important to hire a house cleaner to do a deep clean. You may also wanna have the carpets professionally cleaned. We definitely want the windows washed. And good news, my team can manage all of this for you and the estate here in San Diego. Home staging can take many forms. Since we are talking about a home in San Diego in probate or trust administration, the home will probably not have any personal belongings. My team and I like to soft stage as part of our helping executors, administrators, and trustees. When we are helping to sell a home in San Diego, we do not charge anything additional for our soft staging. We include touches like new bath towels and shower curtains, window curtains, some items in the kitchen and bathrooms, and fresh doormats. Next is landscaping. When selling a home in San Diego, curb appeal is the home's first impression, so we want to make the exterior look its best. We can hire a gardener to rake any leaves, mow the lawn, weed the flower beds, and add some landscaping bark to make everything look clean and well-maintained. It's important to consider cost-effective home improvements. Part of the cost of selling a home is cost-effective repairs. There are a few types of cost-effective repairs when selling a home in San Diego, and most of them include repairing any holes in the drywall, painting the walls and the ceilings, removing the old carpet, and installing new carpet and pad. I like to have vertical and skinny horizontal blinds removed. We then can have a handyman install curtain rods that I can soft stage with updated curtains that are mine that I let my clients borrow. And again, at no cost. Sometimes we replace the old knobs or pulls on kitchen and bathroom cabinets, and sometimes we update the lighting. Cost-effective repairs that improve buyer interest is money well spent as part of the cost of selling a home in San Diego. And to show the home on the internet, we provide professional photos. This is not part of the cost of selling a home for the estate. Just like my team's soft staging, we pay the cost of professional photos. And we do it because 68% of home buyers say that viewing professional pictures of a property is important. The investment is relatively small, but the payoff can be huge. Standard professional photos cost $200 or more depending on the square footage of the home. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm Kim Ward, and we're gonna move on to part two, but please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to be notified of my next upcoming video. See you on part two.